Tony, what was your reflections on the game Saturday? Yeah, it was, I, I thought we yeah, struggled a bit, bit Lee. Yeah, I, I, I mean, previous game at Margate, I thought we did very well, you know, and we played well that day. Um, I just said to the lads tonight, really, um, I think there's a group now we need to get fitter. I mean, I've said to the boys, you know, the, the pre-season's been a bit disrupted with the different managers, with, with Jack leaving and the coaching staff, and then with Ross coming in, so I don't think they've had a, a proper pre-season this year. So we're going to go back uh, and do a little bit pre-season now. Although the season started, we, we've got to incorporate that in what we're doing now. You had quite a strong um, sub bench on Saturday. Was there a few hard choices there? There was hard choices. You know, there's a very talented squad uh, been assembled here. Still a few of the lads uh, that are here from my first time around um, last year. Uh, and I think um, th these choices are good to, for a manager to have. And also with the number of games we've got coming up, um, you know, to have that that strength and depth is for, is key. Looking ahead to Saturday FA Cup. You probably don't know a lot about the team that we're playing. Does that make it easier or harder for a manager? Um, well, I think you have to look after yourselves, Lee. Um, you know, it's a good group. We're at home on Saturday in the FA Cup. Uh, when you've got a home tie, it's key in these in these situations. Um, they are a league below, but you can't take anything for granted. So we'll be we'll be taking it very seriously. See um, Jeff Rico in the dugout with you. Is, is it good to have someone like Jeff's experience? Helping you? Well, it is very much so. You know, me and Jeff go back from you know when we were kids. Really, we played together and um, been involved in football clubs together for, for many, many years. Um, and Jeff brings a little bit of old school values, really, which is I think what we need now, especially to get ourselves fit uh, for the current campaign. Obviously, um, we've been speaking about on the field, but off the field, there's been quite a lot of activity. Um, obviously, Matthew Smith. Um, we signed as chairman a couple of weeks ago and now um, Tony's stepped in. So, um, quite a big change for the club, isn't it? It is a big change for the club, Lee, yes. I mean, um, a lot of put on record, you know, our thanks as a football club and, and me personally to Matt Smith. Um, I, you know, it's easy to look in from the outside sometimes, but, you know, only me and probably a few others know the, the amount of work uh, Matt's done for this football club. And basically, I know people say it, but really, um, without Matt, you know, this would never have happened. You know, Matt approached me a few years ago. Uh, we got together on this project and we've worked extremely well. We've never had a crossword over all them years. Um, and it's very sad for me personally to see Matt go. I'd just like to really put on record that um, what an incredible job that man has done for, for Sheffield United. Um, and, but now, you know, Matt has stepped down. Nothing lasts forever, as we know in football. Um, and, you know, it's been really heartening to see, you know, the rest of the committee really grouped together and, and form a formidable partnership going on. Um, I've been at a couple of board meetings recently and the, and the amount of work that's involved has really opened my eyes to just, you know, to run a semi-professional football club. Um, uh, Tony's come in, Tony Hughes uh, is, a, is another fellow I know from many, many years ago. Um, he's got his own company on the island, he's island through and through. Um, he's got a really interest in football. Uh, and I approached Tony and um, he's really come and he's, he's relished the role um, and he's got stuck into it uh, from the off. And then finally, um, hoping for a big crowd Saturday? Yes, I'm hoping so, Lee. Yeah, the FA Cup, um, you know, I think I think it's, it's, it's one of them games that uh, attracts people. It's got a fantastic history. We want to we go as far as we can in it. We had a great run, I can't remember, was it pre-Covid? Um, you know, and, and knocking well in United out here, and then going down to Eastbourne that evening, you know, it's a fantastic run. Um, and we, we want to create them situations at Sheffield. Brilliant, thanks, Andy. Cheers, Lee.